All right, are you ready for it, Lowell? This is the Lowell train coming at you in 3D. I'm your host, Maximus Sack. And it is almost time to take off. According to my watch, we are right on time. It is 8 o'clock on Thursday, and this train is rolling out. This month, we got VW. It's Victoria Shen and Walter Wright, and they are an electronic, experimental, noise band, ambient music. I can't explain it. You can't explain it. They're just going to do it, and you figure it out later. I don't care. I'll see you after this.
All right, low train passengers. We are pulling into the stop. We got to stop with uh, Dr. Mitchell, the uh, reptilian simulian, who's going to be sitting down interviewing our musical guests this evening. He's got a few questions. He's going to find out about what the hell they're doing with all those knobs and touch sensors and uh, ribbon cables and uh, what were the other things? The contact mics. I don't even know. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to enjoy the video thing we got going on. We're going to learn a little bit about this music. And we'll be back after this. I'm your host, Maximus Sack, and you are watching LOL Train. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Similian. Welcome aboard the Lowell Train, stretching from Boston to Maine. Today, I have a few guests with me, and they're pretty interesting. I love the setup. I love the direction. So here we are with JW. Or is it VW? VW. Is it VW? V VW. W. All right. Yeah, the distortion kind of, my thoughts are. Yeah. Are in different places today. Yeah, loser, yeah. double loser, do loser, whatever, whatever. Is yeah. that how it goes? Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. VW or double V, right? Well, I'm Walter. Well, I'm Victoria. In Victoria. Mm -hmm. So, these are the people that make up VW. So, what do we have here today? I see a, a great Start setup over there. Is this is a speaker. It looks like a TV set. So it looks like an amplifier. Oh, okay. Yes. It says Harvard University Science Center. Good. Does anybody? <laughs> Does anybody go to Harvard here? Uh, yeah, this is my my office. Baby. Is it all yeah. right? But this this seems like Harvard material, like what I've heard so far. Walking into this room, oh yeah, this is like I I, th I think we've used this term on the show before, and I'm going to use it again. It's called avant garde, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, mm. so I really want to get into the whole. I have millions of questions. Maybe we'll answer a thousand. Okay. All right. Let's go okay, for tip it. Tip the iceberg. So how did this start? And what is it? Do you want Do you want me to start? I'll go after you. Oh, okay. Um, Beauty before age. Gee. <laughs> well, it started a long time ago. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, these are electronics. Right. I really like this little guy. This is a board weevil. Wow. It's made by Tom Bug, mm. or Bugs, I think, in England. Wow. And he made it uh, for a workshop. He's trying to teach kids how to build oscillators and do electronics. Mm. Mm. And this is the third version. This is like the uh, hardcore. Oh, the switches, knobs, and everything. It's oh, it, yeah. It looks primitive, but it's really not, I guess. Well, it's actually pretty simple. All right. Yeah, the thing I liked about it was it was simple. It had, like, just these number of knobs, like right. a regular analog synthesizer has tons of knobs, like right. 90 knobs. Yeah, I just got me you know. a synthesizer. Oh, really? And then... Yeah, yeah. This had the important thing is it has touch control. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I see. And it has light sensitive control as well. Ah. So you can go all over the place. So with if this. I have a flashlight. Yeah. And I, I oh can yeah, really. Yeah, you could you could play it with a flashlight. Wow. Well, we got light here, so we can play it with this. Wow. This is, this is, this is. And then this is just contact mic. Oh. This is a special contact mic. Oh, wow. It's spring loaded. Yeah. I So what is that board called again? This one is a board weevil. Oh! The board? Weevil. Board weevil. Board weevil. His name's Tom Bucks. And you called, it, a, you called it an oscillator? Yeah, it's got three of them. It's got three oscillators. Mm -hmm. It's got two ring modulators. Wow. And then it's got a filter section over here, which is just all basic stuff. With distortion and all basic that. Basic stuff. Yeah, this is that. basically a filter, right? Uh, it's a filter with an oscillator an and oscillator. a noise generator. Yeah. So, oh. you know, there are pretty much standard parts for analog synthesizers, mm -hmm. but they've started to make them into little things that you can get your hands in. Mm -hmm. Really? You know? Mm -hmm. Like, she can, she can take these wires and short them with her fingers and stuff oh, yeah. like that if she wants. Just like I can use the touch controls. Right. And so that gives you a lot more. Right. 
places to go. To go with it. Yeah. I, I mean, I felt like I was in a whole nother nebula. They yeah. are. Are yeah. we speak? Are we contacting any? We are. We are. Yeah. yeah. The, the dark They're, side. Yeah. The dark side. It's yeah. funny. You, you yeah, say. Yeah, we have to get out of here. Right. It's light sensitive, but yeah. I, I would say they're shadow sensitive. Shadow sensitive. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, they're shadow I sensitive. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is uh, amazing. So is this what we're going to see? Is, is this all we're going to see? Are we going to oh, no. introduce? No, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The tip yeah. of the yeah. iceberg? Yeah, we just bought toys. Okay. Wow. I can't wait to see what other things you guys yeah. are gonna we're gonna do upon videos. us. Right. Yes, we're gonna do oh, a great we'll video, we'll yeah. Do visual stuff we're as gonna well. do visual oh, stuff. You're gonna do a video. Oh yeah. Yeah. So a surprise that we don't even know about yet. You oh guys. yeah. So um, this instrument is kind of like a traditional synthesizer in that that it contains modules, so different um, functions. Pretty much the synthesizer is um, a lot of electronic components solving mathematical equations to create sound. Right. And uh, this synthesizer was designed specifically to recreate a chaotic system. So a chaotic system is uh, a mathematical system that is very sensitive to initial conditions. Right, which is why I was gonna ask you, where is the sound generating from? Like, where are we getting this sound from? Like what we're hearing. There's pretty much oscillators, uh, amplifiers, and uh, transistors, and so on. So, so that pulsating sound I heard? Yeah, that's an oscillator that, that you're hearing. And uh, the nice thing about having patchable synthesizers is that you can create an infinite amount of different like signal uh, routes, so you can get really complex sounds from very simple parts. Wow. So you can feed things back in onto itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what year are you guys from? 2085 or? 3000. 3000, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. It's funny because you humans have been using this technology since like the 70s or something like that. So. But for some it's reason, they're there. they haven't appeared in um, classrooms across the country. They did for a while. Then they went away. They locked them in a cupboard because they couldn't really figure out what to do with them. But mm -hmm. there's a couple at Harvard. That's how Jessica yeah. got in there. She repaired their Surge. Hence That's the right. Harvard and amplifier. their Bukla also. And their Bukla, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I built a Surge in like 1971 or 72. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I don't have it on me now, but I'll send you uh, some pictures of the guts of this little guy. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Jessica Ryland is like my sensei. And okay. she started this company called Flower, uh, Flower Electronics. And I was working for her for like six years or something like that. But she's a mad genius. She designs the schematics so conceptually in her head she can come up with what kind of sounds that she wants. Wow. Me, she tasked me so with putting wave, it on the board. She creates the wave. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she got her electrical engineering degree from? UMass Lowell. UMass Lowell. UMass Lowell. And she's, she's kidding. major contributor to the show. Yeah, is it really? I mean, Great. in terms of talent. Oh, yeah. We haven't got a check yet. I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, awesome. UMass Lowell, great hub for musicians and sound recording technicians that actually work on our soundboards for the show. So a lot of these sounds are going to be mixed, mastered, and imported into your home television set. It's going to be amazing. Vito. So is this, is that, is that also? Wow. Wow. Amplify the coffee. So am I more awake? Do you get more awake? Yeah, nope. it's amped up. The We're caffeine? Up. You yeah, 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 the caffeine? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. a lot of coffee. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then right. you start talking. Did they read it? Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. So is this MIDI? Are these MIDI <coughs> outs? Nope. MIDI is digital. So it's these are, well, this, I don't analog. know about yours, right. but this is completely analog. Completely analog, huh? This is a hybrid. This part under here is, is digital. Now, why haven't you cased open. yours? I see you kept the board very bare. You didn't put it in a casing mm. like such. You didn't. He needs to be able no. to touch. You have to be able to touch this. Oh, so no more pads play it, or anything. When like I that? play it, I usually play it like just out yeah. here on my lap. Okay. So and he has to the expose back. the photoresistors to yep. shadows. So. Yep. Too. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. so you don't want it in the box. Okay. Yeah. I've been thinking inside of the box for so many years. When I see something like that, it's like. It doesn't seem right. <laughs> wow. Now, 
have you ever got have you guys ever gotten to recording like a, a full length piece of musical ambiance? Have you guys oh, yeah. have you guys he has. you guys have yeah. any, any records that any anything any tracks that you know is there places people can find your music at? Is there I play regularly with the, a number of people. Really? Yeah. So is this th that's actually what I wanted to ask next is Oh wow. That's my that's Whoa. my uh, I also DJ. Is that, is that, is that, oh, you're <laughs> yeah. No, so, so is this like a culture? Is, is is this something you guys created um, out of your own <laughs> fruition, or what? is there like a culture across the country? Or There's a culture the across the country, oh, you know. You know. What would what would you call this subculture? Well, there's there's. They're electronics, electronic yeah. musicians. Right. We're also related to noise, because a lot of these things noise. all have the contact right. lights noise and everything noise. It's actually a noise record shop in Lowell. Is and that's really? one of the places that started, Ron Lassard. Yep. RRR Records. RRR Records. Oh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. Ron, just up the street. Oh, yes. I yeah, I've been in this very after. studio with it's Ron. Very vintage. And when I came here, I was I played with Ron. OK. You know, when he was still playing out for a bit. I've heard some of the music come out of there. It's like, wow. Yeah, wow. wow. Out of this world. Weird Out of stuff. this world. Yeah. yeah, well, one of the things was it was like looking for sounds that were in the world but were not being expressed. Because music is actually, it's actually music. So there's lots of different kinds of music. Music, of course. And one of the ways of looking at music is just like organizing sound. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a whole world out there of sound that came along with, yes. and then you got all these traditional right. instruments going beep, 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 beep. That didn't have anything to do with what was going on in the factories or all. out mm -hmm. in the street or anything How like that. How do you that. embody so, that? Yeah. Yeah, so that's where noise came from because okay. that was like, that was music like our concrete. folk music, right. man. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I live in. industrial day. age. And yeah. then these are electronics because here you can get an instrument, I mean, that instrument doesn't play tunes. Oh, okay. You know, I, I but try, it makes to all sorts. Yeah. Makes all sorts of sounds. You know. All. All. It's contact, so there you have go. to touch contact. it. Wow. All sorts. Of, wow. <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's beautiful. Heartbeat? Is that my pulse? No. It's not. Is it not my pulse? Is it? No. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. Wow! I love this coming. Um, this is the low train. We have encountered. We have. I repeat. We have encountered. Wow. <laughs> so what? Is, it's a fun I'm trying to give this like a funky name, and you called it a. It's the jealous heart. The jealous heart. Yeah. Wow. It's it doesn't the, sound too jealous. It's the Say companion that. piece the to companion. the little boy blue. Little yeah. Yeah. Jealous heart of the little boy blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Little boy blue is, is other, blue. Can you? No. And it's in the same box. It's in a blue box. It's in a blue box. It's a little boy blue. Now, does he give? Does the little boy blue give up other different funky sounds, or is it just? Yeah, it's yeah. a totally different configuration. It's got two oscillators, an envelope follower, uh, and a mix-in, so an, uh, yep. an op, like an amplifier in. So envelope for that, like for like low pads and. Uh, envelope, envelope follower is uh, it takes a control uh, it takes um, a sound wave and it turns it into a control voltage. Wow! So you can use it to control an oscillator. It just manipulate another mathematical function. Wow! Now this sounds all cool verbally, but seeing this on paper, you probably get this spin. Who is it? You're looking? This is techno. Hello. I like it. This is out of this world, guys. Yeah, and then another so, thing that, that comes along with it, because you don't like play notes and stuff, yeah. you have to go into a whole different form of, of composing. So we actually compose in real time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll just play and react to what, what we hear the other exactly. person playing. That's so much so more organic. Your focus really is on listening to what the other people are doing right. and then building something together. Wow. Right, so right there's no time signature, cool. there's no scale. Right. Yeah. So the landscape is pretty vast. Yeah, yeah it is of kind of like a landscape. It's yeah. all it's very textural. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. So we have a uh, a few seconds left. Is there anything you guys would like to share with the public? Is 
anything, any, any, any words of uh, wisdom in terms of music? I know you were saying a lot about, you know, these non-traditional instruments are a way of expressing the industrial mm -hmm. age. What, uh, what else could we know? What else could we learn today if there's anything we can take from this type of instrumentation? Well, they're really fun, and it's really fun like to get kids involved with mm -hmm. this stuff because okay. immediately they get the idea that they can use it to express themselves, right. mm -hmm. and they don't have to learn notes. They don't have to. I mean, there's no mistakes. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong way to do something. So it's like just so much fun to like start to play this right. stuff mm -hmm. and to then to get into it. You know, I mean, just yeah. Yeah, and it's I mean, just make just make a god awful right, noise. You, you, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you, could, you, right. could, you could accidentally turn into a genius. I mean, you can use makey makeys, Arduinos, yeah, yeah. things like that, right? I right. know there was a, a group in here who had a similar setup, and it was just Oh, yeah, but that's all digital. Uh, digital, yeah. right, and this is the analog, so yeah. get back to your roots, know your roots. We know your roots, know oh, yeah. your roots. Like this is the way, this is Dr. Chameleon. This is the little train, welcome aboard. We're stretching from Boston all the way to Maine. Thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much, and we're off. Can we, can we, can we turn that up, do we? Mm -hmm. The doctor is in and he is far out. Thank you very much, Dr. Samillion. And we're back to the show. I'm your host, Maximus Sack. We just sat down with two members of VW, Walter and Victoria. We're going back to the show. We're going to let them do their thing. We're going to let them sit down and generate some music. They got some friends there. What's going to happen? I don't know. I'm your host, Maximus Sack. Why don't we find out together? You're watching Low Train.
All right, everyone, we are done. This is one of my favorite shows ever. I'm Max Misak, and this is Lowell Train. Welcome to our mode of transport. We've taken you to new sonic spheres with the band VW, an electronic ambient noise sound band that, you know, experiments with uh, electronic instruments. We want to thank everybody that helped us along this trip. I want to thank my camera people. I want to thank Aaron King, Steve Bickford, Mitchell Similian, Alec Gervais, Mitchell, the reptilian Samillion, Dr. Samillion, also helped us out interviewing the band halfway through the show, gave us a little break to do whatever we wanted to do and find out what makes them tick. VW, I mean. I want to thank the people in the control room. I want to thank Patrick Meany, Britt Bogner, and Steve Maddock. He might not be there this, this month, but he's, he's there in spirit, babies. I also want to thank Fabiano's, our pizza sponsor, for feeding us during the show, feeding the crew and the band. And I, I don't have time to hang out anymore. I'm going to go check out Spins and Needles down at Uncharted. I am your host, Maximus Sack, and you have been a passenger on the Lowell train. Next, next time we depart is going to be next month, third Thursday of every month. Hop on the Lowell train.